the first exercise of the day would be to create a subset when uh, you are having a GIS layer. For example, if you want to make a subset of Udham Singh Nagar from any remotely sensed image, so what you will have to do is you will have to first take a vector layer and the vector layers are usually generated in GIS software. These layers are also available free of cost on certain website and the GIS is one website which is offering vector layer of the entire world free of cost. So what we will do is we will first download this vector layer from the Diva GIS. and uh, then we will draw the layer of district of Udham Singh Nagar from Diva GIS data you can see you, you can just use uh, you can use this uh, either this chrome or you can use maybe this explorer to download the data write Diva GIS and download and then you will get to see this screen the first option is download Diva GIS. You can select it. It will take you to Diva GIS website directly where the data down can be downloaded. See, the Diva GIS website is also offering a software free of cost. You can say download Diva GIS 7.5. This is GIS software that is being offered free of cost. And uh, you can see there are three options download program, documentation, and free special data. So you can select free special data, and within free special data, you can see country level, global level, global climate, species occurrence, crop, um, elevation data of SRTM, high resolution satellite, Landsat, and then certain other projects. You know, those have been listed. But what you will require out of it would be the country level data. So select it and then you will find a list of country you can select your own country today the case in this case would be India and then when you will select the country then there would be other list which is showing you the administrative area inland water roads railroads elevation elevation country mass land cover land cover mass population, population country mass, gadget here. So there are so many data sets which are available. But right now we are interested in administrative area. So select administrative area, say OK. And you can see the download of uh, that data is available. You can just download it at the local directory. We will download it in the PG practical. Download and immediately it has been downloaded you can go there show in folder and now you can decompress it you can see that a number of files are available when you will click it but what you can do is you can right hand click and extract to ind underscore adm and now you can see ind adm this subdirectory has been created and uh, within the directory you can see that there are number of files available see remember that whenever you will create any layer in GIS so altogether five six files are created and which used to contain different kinds of the information like you can see ind underscore admin zero admin zero admin zero admin zero admin zero admin zero so all these files no six files are belonging to one GIS layer and the zero ad ADN zero stand for the country level coverage that means only the boundary of the country those would be visible in this the second data set is ADM1 ADM1 is basically their state level coverages so all the status states would be available with this data set then ADM2 is district level coverages so all the districts of the country know those would be visible in ADM2 and ADM3 is then the subdivision sub district level data that is uh, um, 
kind of tehsil level data right this data can be you no know, can be directly open in uh, image processing software but the problem would be that how will you identify the district of udham singh nagar so in order to identify a particular district you no know, in which you are interested what you can do is you can open this ind admin 2 layer in quantum gis software quantum gis is again free of so uh, cost software and you had learnt in the last experience that you no know, it used to offer different kinds of the functionality including watershed analysis so the same software can also be used this time for for drawing out uh, the the udham singh nagar district boundary from this district level boundary of the entire state entire country sorry it is quite uh, heavy software and uh, will require no some time in order to load it but it used to offer no lots of functionality lots of functionality even the kind of functionality that is not being offered by any professional software no those are being offered by the quantum gis you can open a new project and then no you can add that layer in which you are interested so this is the sign of vector layer press it then browse to the location where you have saved the data it is in practical and within practical no there was ind underscore admin and as i mentioned no ind underscore admin 2 it is basically a district level coverage so you can select whenever you have to open the file always mind that no you have to select this dot shp file all these are no these are um, additional file or you can say that uh, uh, these are associated file with this this is the main file shp so open it open and you can see the entire country coverage has been shown and this is the reason where we are located so because we are aware with the country map so easily we can we can directly jump to that location in which we are interested but suppose you don't know where your district is then you can select this here right hand button and open attribute table and in attribute table you know the entire data set has been shown you can see the name of country the name of the state so if you know the name of a state you can just scroll to the name of a state if you know the name of district the name of district is also given here right so easily you can go to your um, desired attribute right so suppose we are interested in uh, uttarakhand state and uh, udham singh nagar district of uttarakhand state so uttaranchal has been shown here you can see all these entries are belonging to uttaranchal and uh, you can see all 13 districts here and udham singh nagar is this this is udham singh nagar right so once you have identified the district no what you can do is you can select from here and then in the top menu list you can see there is a option to display only selected region you can see this lens like structure with yellow color this yellow color is showing that it will only display the region which has been selected so you can select it and uh, now you can see the udham singh nagar map has been shown and the yellow color is showing that it has been selected all the features which are selected no these would be shown in the yellow color by default the yellow color has been taken to show the selection but you can also change this color and if suppose you want to remove the selection so there is a removal button you can see this is the button with selection and then cross minus when you will press it the selection would be removed if suppose you want to again select 
then again no just neighboring to this no just close to it there is another selection button this arrow there are multiple options but you can select just one because you are interested in only one district after pressing it then you can press in your desired district let's say this so now it is showing that you have selected it and once you have selected again go to the this layer right hand button and now say save as save as always remember that you have to select this option always save only selected feature otherwise all the entire layer would be then saved and then give a name give the location as well so within pg practical and within ind admin we can give this uh, new layer that is udham singh nagar district udham singh nagar district or us nagar mein bhi usn is again sufficient usn district save okay now you can see in the panel no in the layer panel another layer has been added and this is in the different color because this is the new layer when you will deselect the older layer only this layer would be visible right so now you have drawn the layer of udham singh nagar district from the layer of the district of country right now this layer can be opened in image processing software nv so now the work of the quantum gis is over so we will close it we don't want to no we are not interested to save this as a project it is asking you to save as a project but because it was only smaller piece of work so we are not interested in uh, saving off the project so discard and this we will minimize we will open image processing software and we we will load any image existing image we can take pg practical and uh, this is the re this is the uh, image on which we are mostly working on we have already created layer stack in the older exercises in the previous exercises so that that layer stack we can select this is the layer stack having total 8 bands from b1 to b9 band number 8 has not been included the reason being is that is having very high spatial resolution and all these bands are having 30 meter resolution band 8 is having a 15 meter resolution so open and now you can see this layer stacked image that has been open you can display it in rgb and fcc and uh, now if suppose you are interested in creating the subset you subset of udham singh nagar district so what you will have to do is you will have to open that vector layer the vector layer can be open either from this window option or from the main menu it can also be open vector layer right so either option you can choose open vector file open vector file and now go to that location where you have saved that it is in ind underscore admin and here it is showing no option star dot evf right so you will have to choose your file is with the dot fhp extension so you will have to choose that option shape file and now it is showing all the shape files this usn district file we had just created so select it and now display it okay you can see it has been displayed with the white color right you can also change the color of this you can also change the width of the line in the option and uh, uh, edit layer properties 
the color is currently white the thickness is one thickness can be increased you can see and now the thickness has been increased it is very well visible now now after opening it after opening it you will have to convert this vector layer into roi because nv image processing software lets you create a subset based on the roi so roi can either be created online by using mouse button or it can be imported by using you no know, vector layer so right now we do have vector layer we will export it as a roi export active layer to roi and it is asking you convert all record of an evf layer to one roi convert each record of an evf layer to a new roi right now we are only having one district one object so if we are choosing either of the option the result would be the same if suppose you were having multiple districts and then no then it uh, the option should be critically selected suppose you have 13 districts of udham singh nagar if you want all 13 districts in the separate layer so you should select the second option but if you want all 13 districts in a single layer so you should select this option first one in this case you can select either one the result would be same say okay and now roi has been created but when the roi has been created there is a need to display that roi so go overlay and region of interest and now you can see that region has been filled this region has been filled because now it has converted vector into the roi and when the roi has been created rest processor is same as you have uh, as you have already done it in the previous labs go to basic tool subset data via roi select input layer input image this is the input image say okay and select this roi which you have just imported and mask pixel outside of roi yes choose and save it at the desired location where you are interested pg and give appropriate name usn showing that it is the subset of us nagar district say okay and it is creating the subset of the different layers and now you can see it has created a new file with this usn that is a subset of udham singh nagar district you can display it in the new display again fcc and now you can see so that way no you can create subset using vector layer 